Greetings. I'm the Reverend Jen Fenner of Epworth United Methodist Church, and this is Transformed by Faith Today. We begin a new podcast series focused on discipleship. Today, we start with the famous passage from Matthew 4, where Jesus begins to call his disciples. Matthew 4, 17 says, From that time on, Jesus began to preach, Repent, for the kingdom of heaven has come near. As Jesus was walking beside the Sea of Galilee, he saw two brothers, Simon called Peter and his brother Andrew. They were casting a net into the lake, for they were fishermen. Come, follow me, Jesus said, and I will send you out to fish for people. At once they left their nets and followed him. Going on from there, he saw two other brothers, James, son of Zebedee, and his brother John. They were in a boat with their father Zebedee, preparing their nets. Jesus called them, and immediately they left the boat and their father and followed him. Jesus went throughout Galilee, teaching in the synagogues, proclaiming the good news of the kingdom, healing every disease and sickness, and news about him spread all over Syria, and people brought to him all who were ill with disease, those suffering severe pain, the demon-possessed, those having seizures, and the paralyzed, and Jesus healed them. Large crowds from Galilee, the Decapolis, Jerusalem, Judea, and the region across the Jordan followed him. I find this passage meaningful after just having studied the Gospel of Matthew's version of the resurrection story, where indeed Jesus turns to Peter and tells him, come, follow me. Of course, in the Gospel of John, it's after Jesus has explained that Peter will give his life for Jesus. Jesus comes to us in different seasons and times of our life and says, come follow me. And maybe in each season, it means something different. That first encounter with Jesus, Peter and his brother Andrew were fishing. They were engaged in their daily activities, and Jesus called them to take what Reverend Jamie Cole Burnett would call a radical risk to follow Jesus. Come follow me, he says, and I will change who you are fishing for. No longer will it be food, or no longer will it be fish, but it will be people and those who will follow after me. Of course, we know he went on to do the same with James and John, and I'm astounded at the fact that the people began to follow Jesus, not simply because he called 12 disciples, but because his healing and his presence in the midst of those who were in severe pain, those who needed to be freed from things that held them, those with diseases, those who were paralyzed, those who were having seizures, these are the people that followed Jesus. And so we follow Jesus because he shows up and invites us, and we follow Jesus because he has the capacity to radically heal and restore our lives. When was the first time you said yes to following Jesus? What were you doing? And why did you follow? And what are the things that Jesus, even today, is healing you from? What will Jesus' words, come follow me, mean in each season of your life? And what do they mean today? with Jesus beside you this morning, where is it that he calls you to come follow? God, we thank you that the call is constantly before us. And we thank you that you show up again and again in new seasons and in new ways. Thank you, God, for healing us. Thank you for meeting us. Thank you for walking with us. Thank you for continuing to call us. Call us in the beginning and call us in the end, God, and teach us what it means to have the courage to risk, to follow in each new stage. In Jesus' name, amen.